My name is Richard Arrowsmith and I'm a technical director at Atkins, who are one of the largest civil engineering consultancies in the UK. The road network is the largest single asset in the country and the lifeblood of our economy. Over the next five years, the UK will invest over £70 billion pounds improving road infrastructure. At Atkins, we're developing artificial intelligence platforms to help engineers deliver best value from this money. However, the accuracy of these platforms is highly dependent on the quality of the available asset data. Before joining Atkins, I was responsible for the Asset Management Office at Highways England. Here in 2014, I commissioned the world's largest LiDAR and high-definition video survey to support our annual maintenance programmes. We used helicopters and ground vehicles, and we collected more than 170 terabytes of data, but it was too expensive to do this frequently enough. The new drone technologies are emerging that can develop, deliver incredibly accurate asset data with lots of flexibility and low operating costs. We can move from low resolution surveys undertaken once every five years to monthly inspections that generate precise and formative asset data. Even more exciting is the ability to use these drones to target and monitor congestion hotspots or road collisions in real time. Though there are many practical and regulatory challenges still to overcome, the benefits are enormous and I'm passionate about working with innovative organisations such as Seas AI to release the benefits. So without further ado, please allow me to introduce the CEO of Seas AI, John McKenna. Can I get everyone to stand up please? <laughs> I've no idea about your muscular skeletal conditions or whatever that is, but I just thought this is the seventh presentation and everyone needs to wake up a little bit. Um, and we're quite technical, so don't sit down. <laughs> right, brains on. <clears throat> so I'm going to start by introducing our team. Um, we're four co-founders, ex-Apple, CERN, McLaren, and Billion Dollar Hedge Funds. Between them, my business partners have won two America's Cups, one Formula One World Championships, and designed and built the first hybrid engine ever used in a supercar, the McLaren P1. <laughs> But our story, in fact, starts here. 20 years ago, I was a chartered civil engineer working with Arup, one of the leading engineering consultancies in the world. I uh, led design teams, and I oversaw construction sites, including this one, Portcullis House in Westminster, or the new Houses of Parliament. And more often than I would cared, I had to stop work on those sites, in fact, and climb scaffolding, risking my, my life, in order to address problems and unblock progress. Fast forward to today, and in fact, more often, these problems are solved using digital tools, software simulations to predict events in the real world, and reality capture to ensure that the real world is reflected in those simulations. Together, these are called a digital twin. And according to McKinsey, companies that fully exploit this technology can increase productivity by up to 15%. Apply that to infrastructure spending just in the UK alone, and that's seven billion pounds a year, every year. But digital twins need data, tons of data. Over the last number of years, companies in construction, infrastructure, and oil and gas have been experimenting using drones for reality capture, successfully, but at small scale. Now, if we work with companies like Atkins across hundreds of sites and national scale infrastructure, we need to figure out how to use drones at large scale. And that's where we hit a brick wall. The current model for drone operations involves having a professional pilot on site. That approach is inconsistent, slow and expensive and has no economies of scale. At Seas AI, we're addressing that problem, breaking new technical and regulatory grounds to unlock high quality aerial data capture at scale. So how do we do that? Imagine you're a drone pilot and you've been tasked with flying a mission on an offshore oil rig like this. Today, a mission like this would cost tens of thousands of pounds because it would involve many days of health and safety training, multiple flights on a helicopter, and significant risk to your life. Now imagine you could put on a virtual reality headset and fly that exact same mission, but without ever having to leave your office. That's what we're enabling. Teaming human pilots, in remote control rooms with highly automated drones on the client site to enable the remote execution of complex missions at scale. 
This technology is a world first. And it will radically reshape the drone industry. From where it is today, an industry that's supplied by thousands of one-man bands and small businesses, to a future where the vast majority of drone missions will be executed by a few large and trusted organizations. Organizations that can deliver missions for higher quality, more immediate, and at radically lower cost. These customers, these businesses, will be our clients. Together, the drone operations market across construction, infrastructure, and oil and gas is a 12 billion pound market. And we'll be the first business addressing this market with a highly scalable proposition. A solution as a service comprising software, integration, and ongoing maintenance and upkeep, in return for a one-off installation fee and ongoing fees in proportion to usage. For the past year, while we've developed this solution, we've been supported by Nats, the business that runs all of UK airspace, and Vodafone and Foster and Partners. Now we're working with Skanska, one of the largest construction businesses in the world, Atkins, and a third business on a project worth $500 billion. So we have the team, we have the technology, and we have the clients, but what about regulation? So everyone knows the drone market is a highly regulated market and a restricted market, particularly here in the UK. But times are changing. In May of this year, the Civil Aviation Authority announced a regulatory sandbox to help companies bring innovative solutions to market. When it was announced, there were six entities inside that, including Volocopter, drone taxis, and Amazon doing drone delivery. Today, I'm delighted to announce that we are now the seventh entity inside that sandbox, because the civil aviation believes what we're doing is viable. We're Seas AI, and if you want to be a part of the future of the drone industry, come meet the team upstairs. You'll notice our lovely t-shirts. Experience our demo and see for yourself.